nervous diarrhea, butterflies, gut feelings, that dropping sensation in the pit of your stomach. You've probably experienced at least a couple of these. And by the end of this video, you'll actually understand the why and the how these weird feelings happen. Because guess what? There is a real connection between your gut and your brain. And it's called the gut brain access. Hi, Ray Booty. I'm Carrie, your tushy enthusiast and better booty advocate. I know that you're dying to know how your butt and brain are connected. So let's dive right into the super cool connection between your brain and your digestive system. The gut and the brain are connected to each other through this thing called the gut brain axis. So you may think of your digestive system as being its own separate entity in your body, but there's actually 500 million neurons in the command post of the gut. And that's known as the enteric nervous system. Those neurons communicate with the 100 billion neurons that are in your your central nervous system, which is headquartered in your noggin. Neurons are the cells that basically tell your body how to behave, and they travel up and down and all around communicating different messages to different body parts. For example, your intestines will tell your brain to quit eating when you're full, and your brain will tell your gut that it needs to start producing more saliva because you're hungry. See how smart your gut is? Think of the neurons in your nervous system like a bunch of mail trucks traveling up and down the highway to deliver letters. Except your body doesn't just work from nine to five, it sends messages and receives mail all day and all night. Oh, and if you don't want to miss any of our messages, aka our new videos, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss when we post. Okay, so the kinds of messages transfer between the brain and the gut are things like hunger, immune response, digestion, and even emotions. Like when you're hangry, that's your stomach yelling at your brain to just eat already. Another way that the gut-brain axis works is through neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that help control your feelings and emotions. Kind of like neurons, neurotransmitters aren't just made in your brain. The gut churns them up too. I'm talking 95% of the neurotransmitter serotonin is made in your gut. So we all know about serotonin, the hormone that regulates your mood and keeps your spirits high, right? You can thank your intestines for that. And it turns out your diet also has a big impact on the effectiveness of neurotransmitter communication. That's why eating healthy has also been shown to have a positive effect on your mental health. If you want to learn more about great things to eat for your physical and mental health, you can watch our video, How to Cleanse Your Colon with Diet. We actually talk a little bit about serotonin in there. Also, like every video I'll mention today, it's linked in the description below. Your gut also affects your brain through something called the microbiome. Your gut microbiome is trillions of microorganisms and good bacteria that live inside your intestines. When you digest foods, the bacteria in your gut creates acids that can biochemically stimulate parts of your brain. For example, certain stomach acids can trigger receptors in the vagus nerve on your brain these receptors mediate things like anxiety, memory, cognition, and pain. So there's scientific evidence showing that if the gut is not functioning properly, it could be due to an unbalanced microbiome causing inflammation linked to depression, anxiety, and even Alzheimer's. That's why diet is so important, like I mentioned before. Remember how most of your serotonin is produced in your gut? Well, it's actually made by your microbiome, aka all the little bacteria. And that's why if your gut microbiome is unbalanced, you may be producing less serotonin, which can impact anxiety, mood, and GI activity, just to name a few. Studies have actually shown that taking probiotics can reduce anxiety and depression. So if you do want to learn more about that, you can watch our video, The Benefits of Probiotics, after this one. Okay, so we've talked about the gut, and we know that the gut-brain axis is a two-way highway. So not only does the gut affect how you feel, but how you feel affects your gut too. The balance of your gut-brain axis can totally get thrown off by things like anxiety, stress, and the kind of mood that you're in. The brain also sends signals to your gut. So the emotions that you're going through can make you experience things like nausea, diarrhea, constipation, stomach pain, and cramps, and even vomiting. So when you get that tickly butterfly feeling in your stomach when you're around someone that you like, it's the adrenaline in your brain reducing the blood flow in your gut, giving you the butterflies. When you get that gut feeling, you're experiencing an emotional reaction that gets communicated to your enteric nervous system. And so you might experience a pain or a twinge sensation in your stomach, or even feel physically sick when something is off or not right. Always trust your gut. If you're someone that struggles with irritable bowel syndrome, or inflammatory bowel disease, your mood and emotions can also affect how bad your symptoms are. The brain and gut's shared systems communicate mood, stress, and fear. So you might have symptom flare-ups when you're in distress, experiencing depression, super anxious, or angry. The list goes on. If you struggle with IBS or IBD symptoms, we also have a few helpful videos called IBS Explained, The IBD Diet, and IBS versus IBD. So make sure to give those a watch. 
When you experience brain or gut health issues, sometimes your butthole gets the shitty end of the stick, literally. Especially when you're dealing with pain in the ass symptoms from a thrown off gut brain axis, like diarrhea, constipation, hemorrhoids, or anal fissures. Use a bidet to give your booty hole some love. After all, your butthole is just the other side of your mouth, and you give your mouth love all the time with food. <laughs> Anyways, so all the bidets we're about to mention can be found at hellotushy.com forward slash blog. All right, so at Tushy, we make bidet attachments for every butt to wash your booty hole with a fresh stream of water after every poop. So the Tushy Classic and Spa 3.0 attachments give you control over angle, pressure of the water, and even temperature control of the water with the spa. And they both fit in between your toilet bowl and your toilet seat and hook up easily to your bathroom's clean water supply. Plus, the spray nozzles are self-cleaning so that you're all set even if you do have a messy poop. And our newest addition, the Tushy Ace, is the luxurious electric bidet seat option that offers all of the other fantastic features that we just mentioned, plus a a heated seat, a butt blow dryer, an oscillating nozzle, and more features all controlled by a sleek remote. If you're on the go and you need a soothing option from all that public bathroom anxiety, just bring your Tushy Travel. It's a portable, discreet way to always have the cleansing spray of a bidet no matter where you need to take a poop. And if you're someone who gets constipated from stress or emotions, you'll want to check out the Tushy Ottoman. Propping your feet up on this poop stool relaxes your pubal rectalis muscles so that you can poop without strain and have fuller eliminations. Now who doesn't want that? For an in-depth look at all of these products, go check out our video, Tushy Buyer's Guide, where we do a deep dive into each individual bidet and Tushy bathroom accessories. All of our products are great for your butt and your brain. Well, actually, your second brain. All right, I hope that you've learned something about the connection between your brain and your gut and that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of the poop scoop. Every week, we post new videos on gut, butt, and poop health. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Happy pooping!